hey guys to join me in this experience in uh, learning songs by ear um, there's one thing that I'd like you to learn with me that one thing is how to play a major scale in any key okay any key on the keyboard I'm gonna attempt to do that in three minutes okay let's get into it the first principle is the difference between what we call a whole step or a half step on the keyboard a whole tone is a jump between two notes which has a note in between okay can you see that what's a half step it has no note in between right for example if i were to say from this tone to this tone it's half a tone because there's no physical note in between right now if i were to say this to there there's a physical one physical note in between so therefore it's a full tone concept number two a major scale has seven notes okay one two seven so i want you to always jump full steps or whole tones between the numbers except between the three and the four and the seven and back to the eight you can call it the eight or back to the one it's, it, it's just a loop okay always jump full steps between numbers but between the three and the four and the seven and eight jump half step okay half step right so let's pick any note mm, f sharp okay so one that's the, that's our one right we want to go to the two so we jump a full whole step that's the two it's a full whole step because between the one and the two there's a one note in between okay so one two between the two and the three there's again whole steps three however now we got to to jump between the three and the four right so three four because there's no step in between okay from the four to the five we go back to full steps again we can recognize that's a full step five five and the six a whole step again six six and a seven seven but now we've got between the seven and the eight we've got half a step again play half a step and we're back to the one can you see it's the same note in a different position on the keyboard right okay so so far let's recap it so one whole step two whole step to the three half step to the four four whole step six seven and then back to the eight which is half a step okay and you you can recognize that melody it's a major scale melody which is i stick to playing right <laughs> okay and then you can always come back down okay that's it that is it you've learned the concept of how to play any major scale now let's try that concept in a different key let's try a concept in the key of shall we spin the wheel mm, in the key of c in the key of c okay uh the key of c because we all know how to play a c major scale for some reason okay and let's just verify if the concept that we've learned actually works okay so between the one which is our c because we play a c major scale one we need to jump to the seven numbers of the scale according to that formula so one two because we're skipping a note so it's a whole tone three ah between the three and the four so we have to play half a step so Oh, can you see there's no physical note in between so it's a half a step and then five a whole tone six seven and between
between the jump of the seven and the eight, there's half a step. See? There's no physical notes in between. Ta-da! Last thing is, let's jump it around, let's swing our wheel to... Let's go over a difficult key. Well, difficult key. No key is difficult, really. Um, some keys, you're more used to them than others, that's all. Okay, the key of B, okay? So let's start from B. Right, so, let's try it again. So, one, it's gotta be a full step. Two, because there's a note in between. Full step again. Three, there's a note in between. Between the three and the four, half a step. Four, back to full tones. Five, six, seven, and between the seven and eight, half a step. There you go. You may, you may think, what's the point of learning that to play by ear? Well, the thing is, learning that, how to play major scale in any key, will enable you when you hear a song to actually figure out, hmm, that song is in the key of such and such, in the key of such and such, or in the key of that tone. Because you recognize that the melody is played along the language of that tone. So soon enough, as I go along with the tips, you'll figure out that we can combine major scales. So we can do C major scale. For those that are more advanced, we can combine it with, let's say, C sharp major scale. And then you can combine it with an F major scale. And then you can combine it with a different type of, you know, modes within that scale and we'll learn what that is. And for me, how I see it is everything in music, Western music, which I will say, is based off of the major scale. Even minor scales, etc. they're all based on the major scale. They're just variations and modifications, slight modifications of the major scale, right? And then from, for those that are more advanced, you can even combine um, scales to jump from one world of C to another world of F. And for example, you can even com combine other sort of scales. There you go. Right, anyway, so now you can see major scales actually knowing how to play a major scale opens music for you and the sky is your limit really the sky is your limit right so i hope you remember the principle the two principles principle what is a whole step and what is a half step that's one principle and the second principle is a major scale has seven notes and to jump between the numbers jump full steps whole steps except between the three and the four and the seven and the eight where in which you jump half steps okay and that's what we've seen one two three between the three and the four played half, half step four and back to full step five six seven half a step okay if you like this next tip we'll learn how to actually place the fingers properly according to each major scale and again, it's not a type of, oh, I need to learn the fingering. There's a trick with two principles that ena will enable you to play any major scale with the correct fingering, okay? Two small principles again. All right, see you next time.